it's hard to imagine that if, if Hillary Clinton had been the definite nominee months and months ago and the, the, pri the Democratic primaries had really been just exercises in, in an acclamation and endorsement of her, then we would not have the energetic participation of any significant number of these younger voters, most likely. So Bernie Sanders has brought them into the equation, brought them to the table in a way they probably wouldn't have been there. On balance, how do you, you know, what, what's the bigger thing that Bernie Sanders has done in your view? Well, he'll be a factor in a Democratic victory. Uh, I'd add one other, one other thing here that I think is important. He has sharpened Hillary Clinton's political skills, which were awfully rusty after four years as Secretary of State, which while it's a very political role behind the scenes in public, uh, it tends not to be. And so she had lost her edge from 2008. Now, no, no doubt uh, Secretary Clinton would say that she could have used a lot less sharpening. <laughs> Uh, it was it was a difficult primary season, but uh, and she doesn't quite know how to deal with Donald Trump. No one does. Uh, on the whole, though, I think Sanders has helped her more than hurt her, though it will take a while to know for sure. And the real test will be how effectively he gets out there and uh, and keeps those voters mobilized and somehow uh, deals with their frustration that was so evident in the in the last phase of the of the primaries. And can he? Uh, can the leader in this case actually motivate voters who are disinclined to vote anyway? And young people are. It takes them a while to settle down. They tend to do it in their 30s. And you really have to have a candidate that excites them like Barack Obama did in 2008. Can Hillary Clinton become that candidate? I doubt it, but she has two people, President Obama and Senator Sanders, who might, might be able to do it for her.